for me, it was a bit of a shock going from like someone who sat in a room myself and wrote the screenplay to suddenly realizing there were other writers involved. And I had never run a show before. And um, Chuck Rosen, who actually had never run a show before either, but had a lot more experience in television for years than, than I had, was brought in as the showrunner. And we had like a, um, just a small writing staff. And it was just coming up and sitting, sitting in a room and doing what writing, writing staffs do and talking about ideas and, and storylines. And, um, you know, I, I, it was very, uh, I remember the first script written by Amy Spees that I read that was um, not, it was the first script written by a staff writer. And it was really, it was, it was, um, it was really interesting and um, uh, surprise. I don't want to say surprising, but it was a strange experience, I guess, to see somebody else write characters I created mm -hmm. and, and realize that, okay, other writers are going to be writing this show. But then also being incredibly grateful for the idea that other writers were going to be writing this show and like being like, just like amazed at what other people were bringing to it, and seeing the show sort of grow as this organic thing. And see, I mean, the wonderful thing about Nine or Two and O is it's ultimately about everybody's high school experience, and high school is such a universal thing, and the idea of high school and friendship and um, it. There, I think every. Everyone has something to contribute um, and an understanding of, of that. And it was really interesting to sort of see that, um, to see the show develop organically as people brought in their high school experiences and the specificity of those experiences, which is, I mean, that write, the writing room experience the first year of Modern 2 and I was something that, like, you know, I think um, so much of that now is, like, I think for me, like, when you're, you know, I was, I was, you know, fairly young. I mean, I was like 29 and, um, but I think it was so intense having suddenly being thrown into the water and saying swim that, um, I don't even have like the, the, I don't even remember so many of the details. I think it's like kind of being like when you're, you know, like those sort of memories when you're in preschool, you know, it's like you just. I think there was, I think there was like so much intensity about the experience. And I, I mean, there were moments that I, I mean, there's so much I remember with a lot of clarity, but, um, I remember the, I remember that I hadn't experienced this kind of intensity before, intensity before being a writer who was used to making my own hours and being a fairly irresponsible and a lucky kid. And if I haven't mentioned the word lucky a million times in this interview, let me mention it now because so much, I, I got to say so much of my career, I think everybody's career in this business that succeeds is like, you have to have luck. And I look back and see the luck that I've, you know, certainly a lot of luck that I've had. And, but at the time I was like a, you know, I was having a fairly successful career in my twenties as a screenwriter. Um, being able to make my own hours and had more money than my friends because I was getting paid to write scripts and I, you know, was, was like, you know, for me felt like, wow, I'm like living large. And suddenly I was very accountable. And, and I think I, I had to, I think it was like a real growing experience for me. Um, I remember like showing up late to casting sessions with Aaron because I was, I just had a very sort of like, you know, um, loose idea of, of, Time, you know, I, I wasn't like, uh, um, I I was on my own sort of creative time. But once the show started, that really changed. And I think, you know, running running a TV show, producing a TV show is like, you know, a military enterprise. And I sort of got with the program fairly quickly. And I remember Aaron had his sort of partner, Duke E. Duke Vincent, who. Uh, wonderful guy who basically ran Aaron's business and production and, and sort of did the nuts and bolts producing. And he was also a former Blue Angel. Um, but he literally was somebody like straight out of the Rat Pack. Like, and I'm sure he was uh, friends with those guys. Um, but it's like you could have been sitting in a room with Dean Martin when you were with um, Duke. 
And I, again, had like a loose idea of like the time schedules about produce, getting scripts done. And I remember there was a script that I was writing, one of the first few scripts, and, and it was maybe in prep. And I just thought, well, it doesn't actually film until X date. And um, I thought that was my deadline. And I was, you know, just, I'll get to it, you know, I'll get around to it. <laughs> and then I got a call from Duke basically hollering like, where's that script? And I'm like, um, it's not quite, I'm working on it. He goes, he, he basically hit the ceiling and explained, you know, basically read the riot act to me and explained how it worked. And I think from then I sort of got with the program and I understood like deadlines mm -hmm. in terms of, and the, the sort of discipline you need to um, create television every week.